Well, good morning. I'm back. It's been a while. I've been busy. My life is a busy life. Um, I'm Joyce. I'm new at YouTube. Um, I'm trying to start a channel. I have a lot of different things I want to do on my channel. But today, I just wanted to let you know that I have been to the Dollar Tree. And I was looking for certain things they didn't have. A few of the things I was looking for, which, I mean, it's December the 21st. What do you expect? But anyway, I do want to show you what I did find. I don't have very long before I have to go to work. So, I had um, purchased some of these previously at the dollar store. These little picture frames. They have a stand on the back they come in silver and gold and i had found a silver and a gold no i think two gold anyway i picked up a silver today because they had silver and i like silver so i got that for a dollar at the dollar tree today they also had these two wooden frames with the little um label you can put a label in there it sits like this you can also probably hang it if you put some twine on it but anyway i picked up two of those i'm trying to start putting pictures in picture frames eventually and another thing i found today today that was cute is this little unicorn picture not picture frame but has the little clips i thought my granddaughter would like that to maybe hang some pictures from her little mini picture her camera that takes the little mini pictures and she could set this up on a table in her room or here at my house in her room. I also found this last week, more weekend. I thought that was cute. I might put that by my husband's chair because that's probably pretty much his um, motto for life. And that was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar. And then I found this one. It says reality called. So I hung up. Story of my life. Reality called. So I hung up. I give up. I'm tired. I'm done for the day. And don't ask me to do anything else. That's pretty much my life philosophy. I don't know why. I just stay really busy. I have a lot on my plate. And um, I just stay really busy. So when I'm done, I'm done. So anyway, another thing I found was this cute picture frame. It says sit. No, it says slay all day. Slay all day. I'm sorry. My life. Slay all day. This is me. This pretty much sums up my life. Another thing I found at the Dollar Tree that I was looking for were these little non-slip, no-show lace shoe liners. They're really, really lacy and cute. My daughter-in-law wears those little slip-on ballerina style slipper shoes. And I thought she might like these. They come in black. Neutral. And white. I got her one of each thought she might like those and then I was looking for these men's gloves that I saw another YouTube Dollar Tree person post for these men's gloves I was thought oh I need to get my son and my husband a pair of gloves for the winter just to wear in case we get some snow down here in East Texas you never know but I found the wimp it says one size fits all I'm sure they're ladies because this is pink and purple and black two pair for a dollar so I've got gloves for me I didn't need any but I got them anyway and then I also saw these posted on another youtubers channel um, these little hair clips little they're big big hair clips my daughter-in-law has dark long thick hair and I thought oh these are just perfect for her she needs these so I picked these up for her and then I was looking for that. It's in the ribbon section, kind of in the floral section of the store um, where they sell the ribbon and the spools, but it's tape. And I was looking for that and I did find it, but I didn't buy it because look what else I found. This isn't tape, but it's spools. Long, it's a ribbon style, but aren't they beautiful? If I don't find something to do with them, I'm sure my granddaughters would love crafting with them and maybe making doll clothes or something with these Barbie doll clothes. Another thing I found at the Dollar Tree today were these 
chalk writers. This is um, silver. Great for chalkboards, dry erase boards, windows, glass, mirrors, ceramic, and metal. It's a chalk writer. It's um, wet, erasable, mess, and dust free. So I guess you wet a rag and it erases. Well, I got one in purple. One in gold. One in white. One in green. And of course, the first one I showed you, showed you was silver. Well, I don't know why I got them, but I am one of those people that buy all the craft supplies and never get around to doing the crafts. Story of my life. So anyway, there was another day I went to the Dollar Tree. Not today. This is another day. And I found this. Coffee, the other vitamin C. This was a couple of weeks ago. I did not do a YouTube video on it. Guess what? I had already bought two of these, so maybe I'll give two away. I didn't realize I had, I just pulled out that sack that I bought from last time. I had already picked up two. I didn't realize I did. But anyway, I found these. They had these today, but I had already bought them for the girls, for my granddaughters to hang in their room. It has a little jute string on the top. Cute little shadow box with little rosettes. They're into unicorns and um, they're into um, mermaids as well. I also found these little chalkboards. They might could use those little chalkboard pins on these. They would like that. They hang up as well and they could write something on them and then, or draw something and then erase it and do it again. It says believe. It's a little unicorn. Anyway, and of course, no wonder I picked up a silver because I had picked up two gold ones and one silver one a couple of weeks ago and I needed another silver. That's what it was. The picture frames, two gold and two silver. I'll probably take the gold to work because my room is kind of the leopard print style at my salon and then the silver I could use here at home. Put pictures in from my grandbabies, my grandbabies pictures or something. But anyway, that was my Dollar Tree haul for today and a couple of weeks ago. I went, I don't go every day because I don't have time. And sometimes I go to bed at night thinking I'm gonna get up in the morning and go and then I just can't get up and go. But I go to the, um, I go to work at 12.30 and uh, on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if I get up early enough and get my coffee drink and get dressed and get out of the house, I can go. But um, it doesn't always happen. Now, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have to be at work by 9.30, and I'm pretty much at work all day. Every now and then, I might have a break where I can run to the little Dollar Tree down the street from my salon um, for quick. But right now, with Christmas, it's not very quick getting in and out. They're very busy. You have to stand in line for a long time. So this is probably the last trip I'm going to go. I still want to go look for those gloves. And tomorrow... I'm taking off early from work because Christmas and um, I'm going to take off about three o'clock and I may run and see if they got those men's gloves in because I saw them on um, one of the other uh, Dollar Tree Hall ladies videos last night when I was watching videos before I went to bed and I really would like to get them for Christmas. I probably won't. It'll probably be after Christmas, but Anyway, oh, here's another thing I found at the Dollar Tree that I want to try. It's gluten-free. I am gluten intolerant, so I have to have gluten-free. And these are mini bars, sesame and nuts. No preservatives, no artificial colors, gluten-free and high protein. Individually wrapped little mini bars. They um, have 11 grams of carbs and 2 grams of fiber. So that comes out to 9 carbs per bar. No, for 3 pieces. 9 carbs for 3 pieces. So, three carbs per bar, I guess. They're mini bars. They're individually wrapped. So, the serving size is three, and there's three servings in this package. So, there's three, six, nine. Anyway, I'm going to try these. Sometimes I need something in my purse, and I don't have anything. I used to carry um, gluten-free uh, granola bars around with me for when my blood sugar drops, but I haven't had any in a long time because I've been on the 
very low carb diet, been trying to lose some weight. But I've been off of it for the last week and um, Christmas coming up and I thought, you know what, these will be nice to have if I'm busy and I can just grab one and raise my blood sugar and go from there. And I also found these fudge mint cookies. My, my daughter-in-law loves the um, cookies from um, Girl Scouts, the chocolate fudge mint, whatever you call them, mint thins. And I was told these taste identical. So anyway, I got her a box of these. And so that's pretty much my haul for today. And last week, like I said, I don't get on here very often. I'm hoping to do more of it in the future. I don't go shopping very often with COVID. Um, I usually run in, grab what I need and run back out. I do order most of my groceries online and pick up at Walmart. And then I have a Brookshire's here in my little town that I will run into if I need something that I wasn't able to find at Walmart or get at Walmart on my pickup order. So I don't go in stores very often unless I just absolutely have to. But this morning I was looking for those gloves and I, um, I got more than what I was looking for. But anyway, I got some cute things for the girl's room, for my granddaughter's room. And I got me some gloves and maybe my daughter-in-law might need some gloves and, uh, if it snows or you know we really will get wet in the snow but um keep our hands warm anyway but anyway that's it for today december 21st winter solstice don't forget to go out tonight one hour after sunset to view the um bethlehem star i'm so excited about that and i cannot wait to see it they said you could see it forming last night as the planets get closer together um and so, just remember an hour after um, sunset tonight, December 21st. Can't wait to see it. Y'all have a very blessed day, and I uh, will talk to you again soon. Like my page. Follow me. My videos will get better, I'm sure, as I um, learn to do this a little bit better. Anyway, God bless. Have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.